Hello YouTube, I'm back. This time I made an Objective 2 headphones amplifier for my headphones back there. And I designed out this nice little case on my Shapoko 3. Um, I designed it out so it all snaps together with these little tabs. And this is my final design. I, I went through a couple different iterations. Um, on the back, the way I secure this is I have two pieces of wood that are... I have two pieces of wood that are glued together like this and then set inside and double stick taped down. So I can remove this at any point in time if I need to modify the headphones amplifier or whatnot. So I also made the electronic board that's in inside here for the Objective 2 from scratch. I basically bought the PCB, I believe it was from Mayflower Electronics, it was like six dollars and then I bought the rest of the parts, I forget if it was Mauser or DigiKey, it was one of the two, and it was less than $30 for all the uh, resistors, capacitors, MOSFETs, all the fun stuff that goes into this. And you'll be able to see the board whenever I have, at the very end, I go and build it. I also designed a cover that goes on the back here. It's just the pressure fit. Just goes together, snaps on. And bam, you have a back plate for it as well. And I have these nice little cutouts on the back where you can just put your finger in and pull it out. It's kind of hard to do, but uh, maybe over time it'll loosen up. The front plate has been the same, pretty much the same the whole time. And I got it from the guy who designed the Ejector 2, I think it was like Wave Guy or Wave Man. And he already had a plate designed out. And so that's what I based this off of. It's pretty much the exact same thing, except it doesn't have the curved edges that you would for aluminum. Um, this was my first iteration of it and I just made it flat thinking that I would just glue all the pieces together but it didn't really I didn't really think it was gonna be structurally sound enough so I ended up making these tabs and the tabs made it easier to put it all together uh, originally too I was just thinking oh let's just go with this simple vent pattern and it would have worked just fine but why not make this cool little Metroid here instead well if I turn it the right side up, why not make the cool little Metroid guy here instead? I also made a, uh, this was the version right before this, the final version, ended up snapping one of the tabs off the back, and I realized that I'm going to need to take the back off anyways, so might as well make it easier by taking these tabs off, and so I don't have these tabs on the final revision here, but what really made me go back and redo it is when I glued it up, I noticed that this part was flipped. I accidentally put it down on the wrong side. Uh, so it should have been flipped like this in my parts. Uh, oops. Oh well, now I have a nice pencil holder. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, headphones uh, amplifier here. So the other question is, how does the headphones amp sound compared to my built-in audio? I have an X99A ASUS motherboard and it's actually really good. It has a separate dedicated audio chip that's not connected to the main motherboard. It has its own dedicated lanes and everything. So the DAC on it is actually really good. The amp on it, it's okay. They will drive my AKG K712 uh, headphones, which they are not really that demanding. But some devices, you know, it doesn't put out much volume. And even on my motherboard, it will only put out like I'd say about 80% volume on my motherboard will drive these at a normal listening volume. Uh, so if you ever wanted to just get in the mood and blank out all the rest of the sound, you have to turn it up just a little bit more, which my motherboard really can't do. So the headphones amp does work there. The other difference is I feel that this has a bit more of a boost to it. Uh, like basses seem a little bit deeper and more impactful with the headphones amp than going through my motherboard. And I think that's just because it has a cleaner amp to it um, than what my motherboard has. So there's that. But overall, I didn't really need it, but it does, it does make a difference and it's a cool, fun little project. So I, I do think it was good. The other pair of headphones I tested this out with are my ATH uh, M50Xs and really it doesn't make any difference because my motherboard can handle those perfectly fine even at volumes past my ears bleeding so the amp didn't really do anything for me there it doesn't sound really any better so i have some video of me putting together the board for the objective 2 that's inside here 
And I want to give a shout out to Muli from DIYAudio.com. He helped me troubleshoot this guy and realize that my MOSFETs were fried when I first put them in. Uh, so that saved me a lot of time. Uh, if you're ordering these parts just as not a kit, which you can order it from as a kit from a couple of different places, but if you're just ordering from like DigiKey or Mauser or whatever you, your electronic supplier is, go ahead and just order some extra MOSFETs uh, and probably even like a few extra resistors or something, you know, because every time you have to go and order out, it's like shipping costs more than the actual part. So that... I went through that by uh, pain and it was kind of annoying. So just buy yourself some extra MOSFETs and, uh, you know, you fry one, try it again. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, then please subscribe and like. I do plan on doing another video next month. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. I have a few ideas. I have speakers that I was thinking about making for this rig. Uh, because I usually use my headphones with my Vibe now, which uh, is actually another project. I need to make some sort of holder for my Vibe controllers and the head unit itself instead of sitting on the desk and usually lots of wires and stuff in it. So organizing that with something that I can build might be another solution. Um, I don't know. We'll see what I make. And I also could just make another keyboard. I've been designing out another keyboard from uh, scratch this time. I think I'm going to try to do an aluminum plate on it. Um, it's going to be a little bit different than the Ergodox. It's basically a 60% with a little bit of a thumb cluster and it's split. So it's a unique board. It'd be a fun little project as well because I need one for home. I'm not using the Atrus at, uh, anymore. I like the Ergodox a lot more and the nice 60% is what I'm using now at home. So, yep, uh, until next time.